The story editor in Scribus is a powerful tool for quickly applying styles and style sheets to individual paragraphs within a selected text frame. This is particularly useful for long publications with many linked text frames. In this video, we will be covering an overview of the story editor in Scribus, so let's get started. Welcome to class. Currently, the main purpose of the story editor is to display text content with limited formatting. Providing the user the ability to apply styling to linked text frames without necessarily having to scroll through multiple pages of your document or being required to zoom in and out frequently. Before we take a look at the story editor, let's add a few text frames and a few paragraph styles to our publication. Now let's open the story editor. As with other features in Scribus, we can open the story editor in a number of ways. First, we'll need to select a text frame. Then from the standard menu, we can select edit and then edit text with story editor. For the second option from the shortcut ribbon, we can select the story editor icon or use the keyboard shortcut by pressing Ctrl T on the keyboard. The last option involves right clicking on the text frame with the computer mouse and selecting content and then edit text with story editor. Now that the story editor is open, let's take a look at it. Across the top, we have a standard menu, followed below by a series of shortcut ribbons for modifying the text within the text frame. On the left is a column identifying the styles that are and can be applied to each paragraph within the text frame, and to the right is the text content. Across the bottom of the window is a series of text-related details, such as the number of words and characters within a selected paragraph and the selected frame as a whole. Within the content window of the story editor, you can use your computer mouse to select text or set your cursor location and start adding or removing content. Now, after making a modification, you'll need to manually update the text frame within your document in order to apply the changes. With the story editor open, you can update the text frame from the standard menu by selecting File, and then Update Text Frame and Exit. If you would like to update the text frame and keep the story editor window open, from the standard menu, you can select Edit and then Update Text Frame. Alternatively, from the shortcut ribbon, you can select the Update Text Frame button or use the keyboard shortcut by pressing Ctrl and U on the keyboard. Let's make a few changes by selecting Text in the Story Editor and then manually updating the text frame. Notice that the text within the story editor does not fully reflect the changes within the text frame. However, if you look at the text frame in your document, you should see the changes being applied after updating the frame. An interesting feature of the story editor is that the content window can have its own font style applied that is separate from your publication's text frame. We can do this by selecting Settings, followed by Display Fonts. A Select Font window will appear that will allow you to select font settings and provide a preview of your resulting selection. Let's change up the font so we can see what it looks like. Notice that once we change the font styling used by the Story Editor and then update the text frame, the text frame will not reflect the text style used by the content window of the story editor. The reason for this is that the text frame is intended for readers of your publication, whereas the story editor is intended for, well, the editor, you. 
Now let's take a moment to apply a few paragraph styles to see what that looks like as well. We'll start by selecting a paragraph and then from the style column on the right or from the shortcut ribbon above, we'll change the paragraph style by making a selection from the drop-down list. In this video, we discussed the story editor in Scribus. We reviewed manually updating our document text frame based on the changes we made in the story editor, how to apply styles, and how to change the font settings used to display text content within the story editor. If this video helped you or you would like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.